Oh, I'm sorry to hear you've had such a rough time with all the surgeries and I'm sure based on your question that this has come with a lot of antibiotics and those have done a number on you as they tend to do. So there's a lot that can be done here and, and basically I break this into a three-part strategy. Think of it like you are creating a new community, like you are going to somewhere that is a, a ghost town and you want to turn this into a vital, thriving, full of life community again uh, that is going to just be an absolutely beautiful place for everybody concerned. Well, first you got to go in and see who's living there. And there's likely to be some unsavory characters, a few gangsters here and there uh, that you might need to clean out. So here we look at taking some things to support the immune system, uh, taking some things that can have some antimicrobial effects. Uh, this, you know, some of my favorites in this department would be like reishi mushroom and chaga mushroom and powdiarco as a great antifungal that would, you know, help to clear out any candida that you might have going on. So that's part one. And there's going to be several parts to this. Actually, I said there were three parts. I changed my mind. There's four. Uh, and these are not something where you have to do part one before you can do part two and do part two before you can do part three. You can do all of this at once. Uh, my metaphor is not perfect in that sense, but I think it still is a metaphor worth using. So you got to clean out the unsavory characters and that's effectively the first part of part two, which is just making this a great place where good people want to come live. Um, so you want to create, you got to build some nice houses, right? You got to build some schools. You got to make sure it's a safe place. You got to build nice parks for them to hang out, hang out at. So what does this mean in terms of your gut? It means we need to create a really nice gut environment where good bacteria families want to come and raise their kids, right? So uh, one of my favorite tools here is something called Ion Biome. Uh, and this is a, a terahydrate liquid mineral supplement that basically in your gut you have these things called tight junctions uh, where two cells meet up and this is a, a selectively permeable barrier where it's smart and it knows when to let things through and when not to let things through but when you've had a lot of damage you've been through some rough times this selectively permeable barrier tends to kind of just stay open all the time and lets through just about anything including like things like undigested food that tend to then promote uh, an overactive immune response in your body can, can kind of create some autoimmune kind of conditions because they've been let through before they've been fully digested. It's not good. You don't want that stuff just sneaking right into your blood and you also are going to, you know, absorb more toxins, absorb more pesticides from food. It's not nice. So this helps, this Ion Biome product helps to close up the tight junctions in the gut, which is fantastic. Um, other things that we can do here are consuming foods rich in butyrate or butyric acid, effectively two names for the same thing. And this would be things like butter or ghee are both very high in this. Uh, and this is the preferred food or preferred fuel source for the cells lying in the colon. You give them their favorite fuel source to be able to make energy and they can get to work repairing. So it's kind of like you, you brought in this, you got this crew of people ready to help clean up your town, but you got to feed them. And if you bring them their favorite food, they just might work harder and clean up that town for you faster and get things on, a, on the fast track. So there's that. Uh, you can also look at other really good supplements for gut healing, uh, like glutamine is a great one. You know, you can have five grams of glutamine once or twice a day. Uh, it has a very mild flavor, quite pleasant actually. Uh, you can combine it and, you know, Ana Blanca's favorite drink to make for herself all the time is water with apple cider vinegar and glutamine. Uh, she really enjoys it and I think, it's, I think it's quite nice too. So you could try that as a little recipe because apple cider vinegar also great for the gut. And so these are the main tools. There's other things you can do in that department as well, but uh, those are some of my favorites. So now we started to build a nice community and or, or or created the foundations for a nice community anyhow the you know we've we've built the buildings we've cleaned it up it's all looking pretty nice uh now let's bring in some families okay let's bring in some nice families to live here here's where we start looking at 
fermented foods, probiotics. So I know you mentioned in your question, you mentioned having uh, kefir and kimchi, those are both great, uh, but there's many other fermented foods you can enjoy. I mean, there's all kinds of different sauerkraut and different um, mixes of fermented vegetables. Uh, there's beetroot kvass. Uh, you could have fermented coconut water kefir, which is one of our favorites. Uh, let's see. Um, you could have like, you know, fermented cashew cheese is another really delicious and fun one. And then probiotics uh, are not all created equal. So you, so you gotta be smart about what you choose here. Uh, you could have, in certain cases, probiotics that are very sensitive. And, and you gotta think about it, if a probiotic requires refrigeration to begin with, the chances are that it's pretty fragile. And that when it then comes into your body, at about 98.6 degrees, how's it gonna be doing there? Uh, is it gonna survive? Is it gonna have what it takes to survive the acidic digestive environment? Uh, maybe not. So in a situation like that, those probiotics, you know, however high the CFU count might be on the label, might not actually end up surviving far enough through your digestive tract to be able to do you much good. Now you have a specific kind of probiotics here called spore-based probiotics, and these are great because they're very hearty. Uh, and, and many brands selling spore-based probiotics will have had tests done to them to show and prove what's called survivability. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's the ability of those probiotics to come into your body and actually survive as they go through the, dig the, the digestive system and not be easily damaged by heat, not be easily, in, in fact, many spore-based probiotics have such a high heat tolerance that you can bake with them. Uh, and they're not gonna be also damaged by the digestive acids. So, uh, those are really good. Uh, and then, you also, when you're looking at the health of your gut, it's not just about having taken lots of probiotics, because with probiotics, they're great, but even the best probiotic formulations We'll have maybe somewhere between three and 10 different strains. Uh, and having some really good strains as the leaders of the community is great. But you need more, like a, a, a strong and vital community doesn't just have like three to 10 personality types or kinds of people or, or three to 10 different professions. It's got all kinds of different people. Uh, you know, you, you've, you've got your lawyers, your doctors, your artists. Um, You've got your, your computer technicians, you've got all kinds of people uh, in, in a really interesting community and that's exactly what we want to build. We're, what this works out to be in, in practical terms is microbial diversity. So how, how many different strains of healthy bacteria do you have in your gut? And so that's why through having these fermented foods you're bringing in more than you would just get in probiotics. And so now that you're bringing some of these good families and good all kinds of different diversity of people into the community, they need food as well. We need to provide some resources for them uh, so that they can have energy and go and then go do their job, which is helping you out and making you strong and vibrant and healthy. And so this means you need to have prebiotics. Uh, and this can come, you know, you can look up you know, the best food sources for prebiotics. Um, you know, garlic, onions, leek, these all tend to be really good. And then you can also look at taking prebiotic supplements to feed those healthy bacteria. So, in summary, you gotta clean up the town, make some beautiful buildings, make it a beautiful place, make your gut environment a nice place where good bacteria want to come settle in. And when you look at a probiotic supplement, they measure them in CFUs, these are what are called column forming units, and this, think of it, uh, they want to come in and create a colony. If it's a rough place in there, they're not going to be too excited to settle in. If you create a really nice environment, good bacteria that you get exposed to are going to say, yeah, this is a place where we could set up our colony, this is a place where we could build our society, it's great. and. We love you so much for offering, us this, uh, for offering us this opportunity. We're gonna make sure we produce all the healthy hormones for you, all the healthy neurotransmitters, and keep you healthy and happy. So, that's what it comes down to. And, so that's really what it comes down to in the end. Uh, and I'm excited for you because if you're even hanging in there, 
after having all these antibiotics and surgeries, once you begin to put the pieces back together and, and rebuild this incredible gut microbiome, the level at which you're gonna be feeling is so far above where you are now. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm excited for you. So thank you guys for joining me for this. Uh, for this walk and for this story and for this journey into the gut microbiome. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, subscribe to our channel so we can have more fun adventures like this and, and share lots of great information with you and share our passion. And just again, thank you so much for joining us and hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.